delicious and great. Hmm. I'm gonna guess you're the king of the jungle, a lion. That's right! You'll have to be fast to catch me, lion. Bet you can't guess what I am, TK. Graceful and a great jumper. Easy peasy, a gazelle. Huh? <laughs> Quit monkeying around, Orbit. Everyone knows monkeys are your favorite. Way too easy. Okay, Smarty Pants, now it's our turn to guess. Let's see your animal. <laughs> oh, uh, I know. I'm the wisest of all animals. Oh, hmm, it's, um... Hmm. A turkey? <sighs> I'm an elephant. Oh, that was really good. No, it wasn't. I tried, but I've never seen an elephant before. I've only read about them in my book. You've never seen a real elephant before? But they're your favorite. Oh, no. I've never seen any wild animal in real life. Isn't that kind of dangerous? No, it's so much fun. As long as you have a safe place to watch them from. Oh, you can even take pictures. Then you can make your own animal book. That's a great idea. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see wild animals. Oh, how exciting! Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Pet planet? We don't want to see kittens. We want to see lions. The farm planet? Cows aren't wild. Just a little stinky. The safari planet. That's the perfect place to see wild animals. Yes, the safari planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. No feeding the animals. Oh, are the animals hungry? Maybe they'll want to eat us. <laughs> don't be such a worry wart. Animals don't eat robots. <gasps> That's the spirit. Nut? Monkeys 
are called infants. And if he's hurt, we should call for help. You're all breaking the first rule. Relax. I mean, look how cute he is. It's not like he's going to do anything bad. Huh? Uh, guys? Oh, uh, nice monkey. Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, that was pretty bad. Quick, we need to go after them. Across. Hmm, maybe they crossed here. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's a gazelle! Huh? Its horns are just tiny. I think it's a female. She's so beautiful. Wow. Hey, she's eating one of my nuts. TK must have come this way. Um, Rob, why is your log moving? Huh? <gasps> the same reason yours is. They're uh... not logs, they're crocodiles. Ah! <laughs> Phew. Huh? huh? But TK wouldn't feed a wild animal. That's against the second rule. Maybe she left it behind as a clue for us to follow. Or you don't think the gazelle ate her, do you? No, Orbit. Gazelles are herbivores. They eat grass. Nothing out here eats robots. <laughs> That's not good. And robots! A lion! And TK's book! She's definitely been eaten. Lions are carnivores. They only eat meat. The book must be another clue. Hey! He smells something! It smells like my nuts! This way! But where's TK? I don't think that... What? The elephant ate me? Huh? huh? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Looks like our funky monkey here is friends with the elephant. He was just bringing him a snack. We were so worried. I'll never break the rules or call you a worry wart ever again. <laughs> I forgive you, Orbit. I'm sorry we ruined the safari for you, TK. You didn't even get to take pictures for your book. Are you kidding me? Check it out. Whoa! Amazing! These are great! Thanks. But, uh, guys, shouldn't you get back in the pod yeah. now? <laughs> Here we go! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to go someplace safe to see wild animals, so we went to the safari planet. Wild animals can be dangerous. That's why safaris have important rules. We found an infant monkey and thought he was hurt. Without thinking, we broke the first two safety rules and we lost TK. Thankfully, TK left clues for us to follow and along the way, we saw some of our favorite animals. Eventually, we found TK and learned a big lesson. When visiting a zoo or on safari, 
always make sure you follow the rules. That way, you'll always be safe. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, hunting for pirate treasure. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, lunchtime planet. Yum. A healthy lunch is important, but I don't think we'll find pirate treasure there, TK. Oh, I love dancing. Can we go there? Music planet would be a lot of fun, Emma, but I don't think we'll find pirate treasure there either. Now that looks like a place where we can find pirate treasure. Yes, the Buccaneer Planet. Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Get ready for the countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. for. Oh, I know. Those are the four main directions on a map. And for north, E for east, S for south, and W for west. North should always be on the top. The first direction says to go north to Nosebump Ship. But which way is north? <gasps> Look! Hello. 
close. It must have been some sort of jungle animal. We should keep moving. What's the next clue? Oh, I know. East to Ear Cave. I remember because East and Ear both start with the letter E. But which direction is East? We can't just keep guessing. Hey, TK, don't you have a tool that can help with directions? Hmm. A compass, yes! It is four main directions, just like a map. North, east, south, and west, right? And a compass's needle always points north towards the North Pole. No matter where you go. See? So if north is that way, east has to be this way. East! Giant ear. We found ear cave. And look! It's a picture of a skull and key. Just like the one on the map. On the map. On the map. Ooh, that's so cool. 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 It's our voices bouncing off the walls of the cave. It's called an echo. It's called an echo. Hello! Hello. Tell us where we are. Like treasure. Finally, after all these years, you've helped me find my precious treasure. I buried it for safekeeping, but lost me map. <laughs> <laughs> made a fun new friend. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control, 
Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we found a pirate's treasure map. So we went to Buccaneer Planet in search of buried treasure. Buccaneer is another word for pirate. Orbit taught us that a map can help you find things. But something making a scary noise found us instead, so we made a run for it. We learned that to read a map properly, you need to know what direction you're going. TK had a compass that showed where north, south, east, and west are. That way, we could follow the clues on the map. In the end, the scary noise was just a friendly robot pirate. He made strange noises because he couldn't find his jaw. That's what the treasure was. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Bye, Nosebump. Goodbye, Buccaneer Planet. all kinds of magic. Wow, really? Let me show you. Rob, you forgot the book. Oh, don't worry, it's the hat that we need. <laughs> For my first performance, I'll make something disappear. Uh, who wants to disappear? Orbit, how about your camera? Er, uh, maybe some other time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. Uh, Squeak? Squeak. Uh, Squeak? Squeak! What happened, Rob? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't learned the trick yet. I don't know how to find Squeak. different kind of magic to get Squeak back. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like an important mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, theater planet. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to dress up, but I don't think that will help us. The Halloween planet might have magic. <laughs> Squeak won't be on Halloween planet. We'll go there later. Magic planet, perfect. Yes, the magic planet. Excellent choice. <laughs> Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Huh? 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 
Oh, huh? hold on. What's wrong? We just got here. According to the book, you need a magic wand to do these tricks. Of course, that makes sense. But the magic kit didn't come with any wands. Don't worry, I think I can help with that. Hmm, no. A feather duster? <laughs> That's not right. Hmm. Aha! Spoon! Hmm. That's not a wand. Let's see if it works. That's not squeak. Rob, you turned Squeak into a rabbit. At least he reappeared. How do we fix him? Oh, I don't know. You mean Squeak is going to be a bunny forever? Maybe the book. Wait, Squeak. He was just here. We lost him again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emma, wait! Ah! Emma! <gasps> huh? Huh? Here I am. How did you... But, but you were... It's a trap door. Why? If you... But tricks won't fix Squeak. We need to learn real magic. Oh, hey, huh? look at this. What's this? It's magic cards. Here, look. Ooh. I love cards. They have pictures and numbers on them. Pick a card, any card. Guess what card you have? <laughs> really? Ooh. You can do that? You have a five of hearts. <gasps> oh, that was amazing, Orbit. Here, let me try. Pick a card, any card. Ooh, a seven of diamonds. Uh uh. uh a ten of spades. No, sir. Hmm, a two of clubs. Uh. Get it. How did you do it, Orbit? <laughs> it doesn't take magical powers. I just looked in the mirror behind you. <laughs> it's another trick. Oh, we don't need tricks to fix Squeak, Orbit. We need magic. Hey, Rob, look! all about making things disappear. Uh -huh. Keep your eye on the ball. Which shell is the ball under? Hmm. Oh, I know. This one. Let me try. How about this one? Then it's this one. Whoa! <gasps> you made it disappear. <laughs> it's not that hard, Rob. The book explains how to do all these things. Oh, another trick. It's not real magic. <sighs> Just because a trick can be learned, it doesn't mean it's not magic. Yeah, try reading the book, Rob. Here's the magic hat trick. See, it doesn't say how to fix things again. The last thing it shows is... <gasps> Hold on. That's it. <gasps> hey, come back. I need that.
Squeak? That was great, Rob. How does the trick work? I just had to know the magic words. Magic is really just knowing how. That's the trick. Yay! I think this is a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? reappear, but instead, he got turned into a bunny. There was a special closet, but it turned out that there was a secret door in the bottom. It was just a simple trick. Anyone can learn a simple trick, but real magic? That's very complicated. Then Orbit showed us a card trick. He could guess what card I picked. He did it by checking in the mirror behind me. I found out how to get Sweet back to normal just needed to be a little more patient and read the instructions in the magic book. I learned the trick. Nobody else knows how I did it. And that's what makes it magic. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Us, and he's almost finished. <gasps> What's wrong, Orbit? The flower. Oh dear, your flower looks sick. There must be a way I can make it better. I'm sure there is, but how? Oh, we need to go somewhere to make Orbit's flower better so he can finish his painting. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> Pick a planet! Let's go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Ooh, poor Bobby Planet. Yum, buttery. Smells nice, but I don't think we'll find any flowers there. Mmm. We'll go to Toolbox Planet some other time, TK. Right now, we need flowers, and I don't think we'll get them there. Now that looks like somewhere we can get help for Orbit Sick Flower. Yes, the flower bed planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop flower bed planet. <laughs> hmm, 
not much of a flower bed planet. I can't see any flowers anywhere. There must be some around somewhere. That. Hi, I'm the gardener. Hi, I'm Rob. These are my friends Emma, TK, and Orbit. Nice to meet you. Why did those bees attack us? I'm afraid that's my fault. You see, those are honeybees, and they need flowers. There used to be flowers here. Flowers make nectar. Nectar is a kind of sweet liquid flowers make for bees. They collect it and use it to make honey. So the bees need every flower they can find. Like my flower. They weren't chasing us. They wanted your flower. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bees. A while ago, my water sprinkler broke. Without water, the flowers wouldn't grow. So they all vanished. Oh, oh, I can help you fix it. I'm sure I've got just the thing to fix it. Hairbrush? Nope. Keys, but that's not going to help. Aha! That's what I was looking for. Some oil from this oil can will get that device moving. Oh, that feels great. That's been stuck for so long. What's he doing? Watering the plants. Once these are watered, and I make sure they get plenty of sunlight, they'll grow into a field of healthy, bright, beautiful flowers. Yay! And then the bees will have nectar to make their honey. <laughs> now, now, there's no need to go frightening everyone like that. This will be a garden full of flowers just for you. These will become flowers? What do they need? Good ground, sunlight, and plenty of fresh water. And now we wait for the flowers to grow. Great. Um, isn't it taking a long time? Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything happening. Oh, no. We won't see anything happen for days, maybe even weeks. Huh? <gasps> well, as the keeper of Flower Bed Planet, I can help that along, but I normally like to wait for it to happen naturally. Hmm. If there's a way you can make the flowers grow faster, I think it would be great. And the bees do look hungry. I wish 
wish I had my flower back. If I just watered it and gave it lots of sunlight, maybe it would get better. Where are they off to so quickly? I think I know. My flower! your painting. Ha ha ha! All right! That's wonderful! We love it! Great new painting! And you put all the important things in that help flowers grow. The gardener who plants the seeds, water, sunshine, and the bees. I'd say that's mission accomplished! Give you this. Wow! Thanks. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit wanted to paint a picture of a flower. But the one he had was droopy and losing its color. So we went to Flower Bed Planet. But when we landed, we couldn't find any flowers. Just some angry bees who chased us away. We soon met the gardener, who was broken and couldn't water his plants. So TK helped fix them. He showed us plants and flowers need water and sunlight to grow big, bright, and strong. We also learned that bees do something really special. They take nectar from the flowers and make honey. And Orbit finally finished his painting and even got a pot of honey from the bees. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye. Hear that? It sounds like someone is leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm. Who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. <laughs> Still a wing name, TK. Huh? Blinky, blinky. Hmm. That's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Again, how can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah, the Robozinian language. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, circus planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but 
I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time planet, me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the language planet. wants to learn another language so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful. What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes. We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be uh -huh. shelved. Oh, dear. It seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. Hmm. Come on, maybe we can catch up to him. Wait, there's something you need to know about Jonah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he is, over there. Yoo-hoo, over here, Jonah. little guy, isn't he? Don't worry. Go we'll catch him. Right, Emma? Uh, you guys go ahead. We'll clean up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Hello? Jonah? We need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. Hmm. I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Hmm. Hola! Hello! <gasps> wow! It's a talking book! A Spanish talking book! Neat! What a great way to learn a language! Konnichiwa. Hello. Wow. This one is Japanese. Hmm. I think this one is Alien 101. Zing Zang Zuna. Greetings. There sure are a lot of languages. You can say that again. There sure are a lot of languages. <laughs> <laughs> Sure is a speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. <laughs> Not loud enough. Symbols. This should work. Still not loud enough. Aha! Ooh, that's pretty loud. I'll say. Please, you must be quiet in the language. 
language library. Oh, we're sorry. We were just having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you. And he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies. Usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf. And that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. Jonah says good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. But we don't know sign language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Oh. Very good. It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes, this is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun! And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have... Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Zula Wingding, hello. Zula Wingding, hello. Yeah, you did it, TK. You're speaking Robozanian. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. Yeah! <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa. That's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear, like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Language Planet. There's only one more day till it begins. Ooh, hip hop music. Now that would be a cool dance to learn. Come on, everyone, give it a try. It's called popping. <laughs> Yikes! Oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay, Orbit. You didn't mean to. But now what will we do? How will we pick a dance routine without music? We need to find music. Um, uh, hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet.
competition, but we broke our stereo. We need to find a place that plays music so we can learn a dance routine. Oh, I love dancing. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, pirate planet. A pirate adventure would be exciting, Orbit, but it's not the right place for practicing a dance routine. Oh, I really like playing board games. Board game planet sounds like fun, but I don't think it's the right place to find a music player, TK. What about this planet? It looks and sounds like it might do. You chose Music Planet, the perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. until we find one that suits your cool wheel. But we only have one day to the competition. There's not enough time. Come on, we'll find something we can all dance to.
you okay? Ouch! I think I hurt the record player. And my foot. Just when we found a dance TK liked. Now what are we going to do? We can't give up, you guys. Come on, let's keep looking. Oh, this looks cool. What is it? It's a jukebox. A jukebox has a lot of songs to choose from. Maybe we'll find something in there. Let me check. I guess I landed harder than I thought. My rocket boots won't work. Hey, TK, don't you have something in your tummy trunk we could use? Hmm. Uh, hmm. One little balloon won't be enough to lift you up. Oh. Hmm. Aha! This trampoline would bounce you high enough to reach, but it wouldn't be very safe. Aha! A car jack. It's used for changing flat tires. We can use the jack to lift you up. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of songs to choose from. Oh, this one sounds like fun. It's called the Robot Boogie. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we were trying to find a dance for the Intergalactic Space Dance Competition. So we traveled to the Music Planet. There were all sorts of music players, and each one of them played a different style of music. We learned so many cool new dance moves. We needed to find a dance that would work for all of us. We then tried a dance called the Macaroni, but without hips, TK couldn't finish some of the moves. She was getting very discouraged. So then we tried dancing to rock and roll. All of us really liked it, but I got a little carried away and hurt my foot. That's when we found an old jukebox. We never gave up, and guess what? We found the perfect dance for all of us. The robot dance. Good mission, Rob. Well done. We'll be just in time for the dance competition. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Okay. 
I'm fine. Actually, I like this. This is the first break I've had all day. You know what, guys? We've been working really hard. And now look, the rocket's squeaky clean. We're done. Good. Yay! And I have a great idea. We're gonna go on a mission. Wait a minute. Does it involve more cleaning? <laughs> nope. Today our mission is to have fun. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try a merry-go-round. Hop on, everyone. Quick, follow me. I'm the leader. Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get 
sick when I get too dizzy and... You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit. It's Rob's turn. Rob's the leader. Let's go. Follow me. to me, I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys. Wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? Do you have anything that can help us get Orbit down? Um... My trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh... Uh... Okay! Jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Playground Planet! Hi, everyone. We're putting a band together to play in the
the Galaxy Pop Concert. <laughs> Where's your instrument? I don't have an instrument. Not even cymbals? You can have mine! <sighs> no, not even cymbals. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's got to be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop Concert. Oh, I love music. Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo, I. I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Monkey planet, yes! <laughs> I don't think monkeys spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma, book planet. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band planet, that could work. Yes, the band planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. something else. What 
Would anyone mind if I switched my kazoo for a saxophone in our band? Uh-uh. No problem. Let's keep looking. What's this thing? It's an amplifier. An amplifier changes the sound and makes the guitar louder. Like this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, Emma, are you okay? That was awesome! Do you think I could play that? Give it a try and see. band? Absolutely! Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Uh, don't be sad, Emma. We'll find your instrument. What if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey! This looks cool! Drumsticks. We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect! <laughs> Do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? Wow, Orbit! Yeah. That was great! Oh! Drums are awesome! I'm never gonna find an instrument I can play. Rob has a saxophone, TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, Embos! <laughs> And I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La, 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 la. That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you. I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right. Great idea. Do you think it will work? Of course. Your singing is great. Oh, I know something that can help. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one, two, ready, go! Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> we went to Band Planet to help Emma find an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Pop Contest. 
Putting notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Band Planet! Hi, everyone. You've got to see this. TK is showing us how to use our new color popper. It's really easy, Orbit. You just pick the color you want to use, and then... Wow! Let me try, please. Let's see. My favorite color is orange. Wow! It really works. What else can I pick? <laughs> painting with a color popper. Yeah, I look silly. We need to find a place where we can put things back to normal. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. I love playing soccer. It looks like fun, but I don't think it will help us fix our colors. Mmm, yeah. tasty in salads, but we'll go to the onion planet when we've got our colors sorted. like a place where we can fix our colors. <laughs> yes, the paint planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Look at that! It's 
getting more paint. Come on, let's see if we can get some paint too. I see how it works. We just need to put the color popper in here. And... Choices left are black, white, red, blue, and yellow. I'm none of those colors. We just need to find that painter robot again. Maybe he can help us find some orange paint. Let's go. What do you think? Yeah! <laughs> That's better. Here you go, Emma. <laughs> Fixed! Your turn, Rob. <laughs> this is fun. You give it a try, Orbit. Red or yellow or blue. They're purple. But we don't have any purple paint. Just like we don't have any orange. Ah! Hey, look at this. Huh? Uh oh. This plant should be green, not gray. What do we do? We don't have any green paint either. There's no orange, no purple, no green. The only colors we have are blue and... Wait! You can make green by mixing blue and yellow. robot and get you fixed up. Wait! What's going on here? We need your help. Our friend Orbit has his colors all mixed up. Uh. <laughs> he looks fine to me. But his head is pink. And his body is green. And his arms are purple. Are they? That's not what I see. Huh? What color am I? Yellow and green and a bit of blue. I can fix that for you if you like. Um, I think your goggles are dirty. They are. Uh. <laughs> no wonder you've been painting everything the wrong color. I have. Don't worry. We've been fixing things for you. And we'll fix your goggles up too. Right, TK? I'm sure I've got just the thing to clean them up. Let's see. A toothbrush? No, that's too small for this job. Glue? Hmm. No, too scratchy. Aha! A sponge! This is perfect for cleaning goggles. <laughs> Just let me do a little wiping and... Ta-da! Voila! A masterpiece! Wow! Everything looks so different. The sky and the ground and the paintings and the sculptures and... Wow! You really are mixed up, aren't you? Can you help him? He needs orange paint. Hmm. How about more pink? You look fabulous in pink. I just need to mix red and... Yellow! Red and yellow make orange! That's it! I haven't mixed three colors yet. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission
mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Orbit TK and I got all mixed up by the color popper. So we went to the paint planet. There was a silly painter robot who was turning everything different colors. We discovered the painter's goggles were dirty, and that's why he was painting everything strange colors. You have to keep your goggles clean to see well. By helping the painter, Orbit finally remembered the secret to making orange. You have to mix red and yellow. We finally had our pal back to normal again. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one! Goodbye, Pink Planet! Just in time. Today is Imagination Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right. And I'm going to be Interplanetary Rockstar Orbit. Yo! Oh, avast me, hearties. Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever. And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too. Me three. One, two, three. Now we need to find a place to put on our play. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh, no. That would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play, either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theater planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Oh! <laughs> 
jungle explorer Emma is all set to protect the jungle and discover new worlds. And Space Sheriff Rob is fixing to keep that nasty space troll gang of outlaws from rustling our planet. There's nothing left for me. The dress-up trunk is empty. <sighs> we can't do the play without you, TK. We have to find you a costume. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm sure TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk. Of course. I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, shiver me timbers and a great big R. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excellent eye patch you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit. Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> Avast me, hearties! Arr, it be treasure! Dawdlin' dopies. There's at least a hundred space trolls out there. But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit. Quick, saddle up your horse. My horse? Huh? Wait a minute. No one's capturing me. I'm going to capture Those troll dudes are here for my show. Just ask Emma. She's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm Jungle Explorer Emma. I discover things and rescue poor, helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> Poor rock star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if Jungle Explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da 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 -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rock star eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm the space sheriff. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way. We're at my concert. And you're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. Hmm. No, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do. Go! Isn't this Imagination Day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on a play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Me, too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. Treasure! Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without you. <gasps> oh, no! Yikes. Space oh. trolls! They found us! Oh, no. <gasps> we must protect the statue. A vast rock star orbit. Yes! Later, dudes. Everyone, hot tail it for the hills. Space sure Rob will keep him busy while you folks escape. Eat pillows, space trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, Space Sheer Rob. Thanks, Jungle Explorer Emma. Come me in, baby. Play, where we all played our favorite character. And we did it all 
together. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the theater planet to put on a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited playing our own characters, we had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, we should always think about our friends too. We learned that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home and help buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Peter Planet. to cheer him up. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, yummy! The veggie planet. Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope. Not the bouncy ball planet. Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Thank 
for Stripey. I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. fish at all. if 
he stays here where he has lots of fishy friends. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that's mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma's fish Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live. And the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge. Others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripies. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish and they looked exactly like stripey. And Emma decided stripey would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Ocean Planet! looking after her cousin Mia's space cat, Violet. Violet needs something, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Check the list Mia gave you, Emma. Everything a pet needs. Number one, a pet needs food. Food, check. Number two, a pet needs water. Water, check again. Three. A pet needs a place to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Litter box, check. That's everything on the list. Violet obviously needs something. Oh, I'm a terrible pet sitter. <sighs> hmm, maybe Mia forgot to put something on the list. But what? What does Violet need? Sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We're taking care of Emma's cousin, Space Cat Violet. She needs something, but we don't know what it is. Oh, I love pets. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, the water planet. But I don't think Violet wants to go swimming. Oh, what about the stinky foot planet? Yeah. No, I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now that looks like a place that we might find what Violet needs. Yay! The Pet Shop Planet. Good choice. Get ready for a countdown. Thanks. Yes. 
stop the pitch of planet. Shop Planet has things for every kind of space pet. I think this is the dog section. There's stuff for all kinds of dogs. Small, big, and really, really big. <laughs> These bones are all made of rubber. These must be toys. Uh, wait! Ooh. Ooh, oops! <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, hey! <laughs> Bones are for dogs, not space cats or robots. Don't worry, Violet. We'll find whatever it is you need. Right, Rob? Right, Emma. This place is huge. So we can split up and search for the space cat department. Violet, you be a good cat and stay here. Doesn't look like the space cat department. This must be for the P O U S S. Huh? The pets of unusual size. Yes, Orbit. It must be for some really huge alien hamster. But that still doesn't help Violet. I don't know, Emma. This is pretty fun. Maybe Violet would like it. Woohoo! faces look funny, but I don't think Violet wants a fishbowl or fish food. Closer to finding out what Violet wants. Look out! Whoa! Whoa! Get out of the way! Ah! Ah! We've got to stop this thing. Yes, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, Violet really saved us. And she found a great toy. That's it. That's what Violet wanted. A toy. We really should fix that hamster wheel. A little higher. And there. TK, find something to get the wheel fastened in place. Tape can fix a lot of things, but it's not going to work for this. TK, hurry! Uh, Ooh, my favorite wrench! I'm getting closer! TK, hurry! Please! Aha! This bolt is perfect! That's mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? what Mia's pet space cat needed. So we traveled to the pet shop planet. There was everything for every kind of space pet there. We learned that there are things every pet needs. Food and water and a place to go to the bathroom. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> we also learned that a pet needs a toy to play with to give it exercise. It was also a good way for us to play with her. All pets need lots of love, too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Bye, Pet Shop Planet. Six, five, 
hot here. Emma, this isn't anything like a tasty dessert. It might not be rainy, <laughs> but the desert is way too hot. something that can help. Hmm. It's too warm to dance. The xylophone won't help. A hammer's a great tool, but not the right one for this job. A fan! looks too warm. There are other parts of the weather planet we could visit. We could fly the rocket somewhere the weather is cooler. Cooler. Good. Much better. Not hot at all. to walk on. are also a kind of frozen water, and every one of them is slightly different. Cool. No, cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> Too cold. Don't you think? Rob! Rob, it's too cold. The rocket can't even move. Oh, no! How can we warm him up? Well, I wasn't cold when I was skating. And we weren't cold when we were playing. We need to move to get warm. And I know just what to do. Great idea, Rob. Moving around will definitely warm us up, but we've got to get the rocket moving as well. Just keep dancing. Come on, rocket. You 
You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> it was raining, and we wanted to find a place to go that would cheer us up. Somewhere it wasn't raining where we could play. We learned that a desert isn't something sweet to eat. That's a dessert. A desert is a place that almost never rains. But the one we found was way too hot to play in. So we went to another part of the weather planet where it was snowing. There we learned that when it's really cold, water freezes. It turns into ice and even snowflakes. But there, it was so cold that the rocket couldn't move. We decided to dance and move around in order to get warm again. We finally picked a place that was just right. Back in well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Weather Planet! Go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. <laughs> Clean up planet? I don't think that's a very good place to race. Maybe we'll need to go there and wash up afterwards. <laughs> Paint planet would be great. It sure would. But it's not really a place to have a race. Hmm. 
Race flags and a race track. That's exactly what we need. Yes, the race planet. Perfect choice. But remember, racing isn't all about winning. You have to have fun and play fair. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Rocket Riders, choose your racer. There are so many to choose from. TK, which one should we choose? Wow, look at that one. Ready? Buckle your seatbelts. Sure, this is the fastest. Buckle up! Hold on! Emma?
orbit behind? It's a long way back to the rocket. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to have a practice race to see who is the best racer. We decided Race Planet would be the perfect place. We also learned that if you break the rules, it can be dangerous. But the most important thing was that you shouldn't forget about your friends. And losing to your friend is still a bit like winning, because you can be happy they did well too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. Just in time. Long before there were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. Ah! Oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orbit. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? <gasps> yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, 
nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK, but I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur, but I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. Okay then, get ready for countdown. Hurry everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey, where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapults! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. <laughs> Oh! 
carpet? carpet? <laughs> hey, the trail leads in there. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It's coming from inside. <laughs> oh no, it's Orbit. Quick everyone, this way. did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before they were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums, so that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but there was a problem. He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered our robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. So buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Doggy! Goodbye, Museum Planet! Oh, hi, everyone! Orbit. It's picture day, and we all need to look our very best. Now, where do I put the camera? Hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. You found it. I don't know, TK. These ones just don't seem to fit right. Maybe try retracting your antenna a little, like this. Oh, I... but I can't do that. Maya! Oh, I wish my boots could do that. All of you can do these neat things that I can't. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Orbit. Emma has skin. See? It's soft and sensitive. She's not made of metal like we are. Hmm. Green skin? No gears? <laughs> Emma, what's wrong? Green 
green skin, no gears, cries alien tears. I'm not like my robot friends at all. Don't worry, Emma. We can, uh, uh, we can. Can you make me look more like you? Well, uh, I... Maybe we could, uh... uh... Hey, I have an idea. Just play along, okay? That's a great idea, Emma. We could try to find a way to make you look more like us. Really? Absolutely. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. help you today. We want to dress Emma up like a robot, so we need to find a place with robot parts. Oh, dress-up time is always fun. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, Jigsaw Planet! Solving Jigsaw puzzles is a lot of fun, but it's not the right place for finding robot parts, Orbit. Oh, I love playing sports. Sports Planet sounds awesome. But I don't think we'll have much luck with our mission there, TK. Mm -mm. Ooh, what about this planet? It looks like it has a ton of spare robot parts. You chose Spare Part Planet, the perfect place to create a robot costume. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. For Emma. Exactly. But if she can't talk, and if she can't walk, Emma might realize she's awesome just the way she is. That's our real mission. Isn't being a robot great, Emma? Oh, uh, it sure is. Oh. Okay, what's next? We need to find some more parts, bulky parts. Wait, being a robot sure is uh, fun. I found the perfect middle piece. I found robot hands. Great job, guys. Let's suit her up. Ta so, Emma, what do you think of being a robot now? It's... Uh, you wait here. We'll, um, we'll, we'll see if we can get you a nice pair of shoes or something. Oh, boy, I thought for sure she would have given up by now. Hey, what's that? Too close. Whoa! 
What is it? <laughs> you should never play around machinery, Orbit. It can be very... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Dangerous. <gasps> oh, no. My nose is itchy. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> Emma was unhappy that she didn't look like the rest of us, so we traveled to Spare Part Planet to make her a robot costume. But our real mission was to show Emma she's perfect, just the way she is. She wanted to fit in so badly, she didn't realize how clumsy all that heavy stuff was making her. We looked around for other ideas and ended up getting stuck on a giant magnet. Magnets attract certain types of metal like iron, and we're loaded with iron. We needed our non robot friend to help us. Emma saved us by just being herself. She was able to do some amazing things that we could never do. We're all a bit different, and that's what makes each one of us special. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Goodbye, Spare Park Planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Emma's going to read us a story from her favorite storybook. Ah! Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. Squeak, the box is 
is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
flying squeak. This way. No, this way. I hear him. This way. Oh, it sounds like he's everywhere. But that's impossible. How can Squeak be everywhere at once? Chasing, it was other mice too. But which one is our squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the cheese planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye.
plane. I'm supersonic jet pilot Emma. I love airplanes. Oh, wow. Me too. Yeah. Japanese art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. For airplane. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. A rectangle has two sides longer than the other sides. Hmm, mine is square. All the sides are the same length. Uh, I'm sure it'll still work. Wait, Emma, I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you done. <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> <laughs> This 
origami stuff doesn't work at all. Ta-da! Huh? Cool! <gasps> How come mine didn't look like that? Just give it another try. Orbit, can you show us again, please? Okay. First, fold your paper in half. Hmm. <laughs> Make sure you line up the edges perfectly. Origami is too hard. It is hard, Emma. You need to follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. Okay. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Neo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Neo, fold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Mm. Mm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? Spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect. Thanks, TK. I'm done. <gasps> I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. Yet, I've got an idea. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. <laughs> and now that I know how, I can make a paper airplane Well 
done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Oregon Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Space Olympics are coming up, and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100-meter sprint. <laughs> Space Olympics are going to be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. Maybe if you're fast like TK, or can do the long jump like Emma, or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just going to stand the rocket and play with my new toy. Oh, a toy. What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We need to find something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Spring Planet! That looks like fun! It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Halo Planet! It's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports Planet! That's perfect! Yes, the Sports Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt! about sports. It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're gonna lose. <clears throat> you just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs> TK. Yay, TK! Great jump! Woohoo! Wow! That's amazing! Your turn, Orbit! Come on, you can do it! <sighs> Orbit!
Emma. You won. Ah, so the long jump isn't your sport. There are still lots left to try. Sports. I should give up. Don't be silly. It just takes practice. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? Oh no! We're missing a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. A string? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Mm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh no, your treads are bent. I could fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing too. It's okay, I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun. than I thought it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. You can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun, too. You're right. I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... Planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. 
Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. Thanks. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Bye.